You damn twig snappers! People are trying to sleep. Ah, the tasty smell of the start of a weenie roast. I need to get me some kielbasa and white hots. Hmm, seven letter word for long and hard starts with an A. Um, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, what is this? I know this. What will be long and hard? Arousal. Hmm. What does long and hard have to do with arousal? Well, Harvey, if you don't know the answer to that by now, it's safe to say you never will. Birdman! Pant! Pant! You're half of the duplex! It burned down! Peter Potamus, you're under arrest for the arson of this guy's half a house! Harvey, help me! I didn't do it! Well, I mean, if I was going out, so I'd throw your mailbox in and keep it going a bit longer for my s'mores, but I didn't start it! Ordinarily, I turned down a case while busy with something else. Clearly not anything arousing. But seeing how this hippo saved me in a case... I need a good lawyer, now! Hey, anybody got an extra set of trousers? Damn it, turn rip my good chinos! Save me! Yeah, sure. And even save my life. Birdman's drowning! Uh, all right, what I do? What I do? <laughs> What are you- Red 1,000! Two 1,000! I have to. I'll take the case! Did you get that thing that I sent to you? I'll take the case. Volturo. Birdman, is it not enough that you taste Malone? By having your duplex now you have to suffer by losing to me. Hmm. Oh, Henry. Mwah. Oh, cute. An air kiss. Followed by an air fondle, air squeeze, and then finally an air... Order! Order in the courtroom! Presenting evidence. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Uh, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, 
Now, I would like to... Mr. Peter Potamus to the stand. Okay, don't say anything. Got it? The less you say, the better our case. Now, Mr. Potamus, if you wouldn't uh, mind, jury and the world, your total and complete guilt in this case. I am sorry. I will not admit to anything because I have a bad case of laryngitis. Therefore, I cannot talk. Good day, then. Uh, but you just... Uh, I mean, uh, this is preposterous. Uh, Your Honor, if I could, I demand the defendant admit to the crime. I demand it. Mr. Bram Bram, does your defendant have laryngitis? Laryngitis? Why, well, of course. He probably couldn't even say one more word. See? I told you. Case dismissed. Laughable. No further questions, Your Honor. He did it. Yeah, Mr. Bombs over Baghdad, Europe. Ladies and gentlemen, sure, my client appears to be a callous, privileged, sticky mess of a hippo, but he is also. A person of special needs. A man on a journey through life without the aid of fingers or thumbs and therefore incapable of starting a fire. If it pleases your honor, why don't we just ask someone who saw the whole thing happen? Oh. Yeah, would, a, would a Mrs. Gigi Quackenbush Lopez Feinerstein David Peck Wong Bird man, my tour? What? Please take the stand. She's wife, I think. What are you doing? If you would, please tell the court what you saw that fateful evening. Of course. <laughs> Harry Birdman and I recently got back together, you know? Anyway, I was returning from my lover, I mean Butcher's house, when I saw a small fire on our porch. I saw that hippo just standing there with those matches in his hand. You mean that in conjunction with the book of matches found at the scene, this testimony puts Potamus on the scene with intent? Nothing further! Uh, well, uh, I think I get a cross-examination or something, right? Well, no doubt. You need to hammer now, good buddy. You are in the granny land looking for beaver. Watch for bears. Over. Um, I'll take that as a yes. Oh, yeah? Press that button. Again. <laughs> Again! Did you get that? I'll take... Oh, yeah? Did you get... If it seems that the defendant is holding something back, try pressing. Never admitted that to anyone before. And it's on record. Gigi, wife. Ugh, not while I'm under oath, Harry. You never admitted that to anyone before. And it's on record. Gigi, wife. Ugh, not while I'm under oath, Harry.
I would bet that I could present something that contradicts this statement. No, that's it? Nothing else? Hmm. I would bet that I could present something that contradicts this statement. Oops, <laughs> that's not what I meant to present the court. Wrong thing, wrong thing. <laughs> that was hilarious. Bro, oh, wrong item. <laughs> wrong time. Mm. This matchbook, found at the scene of the crime, uh, my house. Sure, looks like a matchbook to me. Don't you find it strange that my client would put his own name and phone number on the very matches he used to burn my house and leave them there for all to find? Uh, not really. He was probably gonna give them to some intern. Nah, I was gonna give them to Savannah over at Boobies. Ah-ha! Uh -huh. Ixnay on the Atches May. No, I mean I was gonna give him to Savannah until I saw Gigi. I gave him to her at the Weenie Roast at your place, Birdman. She asked for him, and I, being a gentleman, obliged. Plus, so I could never use him without thumbs at all. So that does place Gigi at the scene of the crime with the Book of Matches. Wait, but why? Bird girl to the rescue! I've got a new piece of evidence. <gasps> it's a cigarette lighter with the initials PP engraved on the side. I found it at your house, Birdman. Oh, thanks for that evidence. That's great. For the other side, a cigarette lighter with Mr. Potamus's initials on it at the scene of the conflagration. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I believe that this is what we refer to as... A smoking gun. Or some people I know call it a lighter. Hmm. Something here just doesn't make sense. Uh, did she say she was my wife again? Because m maybe she could help me with that seven-letter word. Would the witness please rephrase her testimony for the court? I can change my testimony. I pulled up in front of our place and saw Petey. Whatever. He was lighting a fire by the front door using that lighter. I drove off to get help from my precious husband, Harry. Item. <laughs> Wrong time. That seemed right in my head. Stupid head. Mmm. <laughs> 
Maybe this will be useful later, but not now. I have been defeated by the legal wrangling of my own incompetence. You damn twig snappers! People are trying to sleep! Ah, the tasty smell of the start of a weenie roast. I need to get me some kielbasa and white hots! Seven letter word for long and hard starts with an A. Um, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, what is this? I know this. What will be long and hard? It fits perfectly and is long and incredibly hard to pronounce. Except I feel like. Nah. I'm 65 to go. Birdman! Pant! Pant! You're half of the duplex! It burned down! Peter Potamus, you're under arrest for the arson of this guy's half a house! Harvey, help me! I didn't do it! Well, I mean, if I was going out, so I'd throw your mailbox in and keep it going a bit longer for my s'mores, but I didn't start it! Ordinarily, I turned down a case while busy with something else. But seeing how this hippo saved me in a case... I need a good lawyer, now! Hey, anybody got an extra set of trousers? Damn it, turn rip my good chinos! Save me! Yeah, sure. And even save my life. Birdman's drowning! Uh, all right, what I do? What I do? <laughs> what are you. Birdman's one thousand! Two one thousand! I have to. I'll take the case! Volturo. Birdman, is it not enough that you taste by having your duplex? Now you have to suffer by losing to me. Hmm. Oh, Henry. Oh, cute. An air kiss. Followed by an air fondle, air squeeze, and then finally an air... Order! Order in the courtroom! Presenting evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. Now, I would like to... Mr. Peter Potamus to the stand. Okay, don't say anything. Got it? The less you say, the better our case. Now, Mr. Potamus, if you wouldn't uh, mind, jury and the world, your total and complete guilt in this case? I am sorry. I will not admit to anything because I have a bad case of laryngitis. Therefore, I cannot talk. Good day, then. But you just... Uh, I mean, this is preposterous. Uh, Your Honor, if I could, I demand the defendant admit to the crime. I demand it. Mr. Bam Bam, does your defendant have laryngitis? I think he meant to say bronchitis. Wait, that's the seven-letter word beginning with A. Yeah, what he said. You mean an inflammation of the bronchial tubes caused by excessive smoke inhalation. Laughable. No further questions, Your Honor. He did it. Yeah, Mr. Bombs over Baghdad, you're up. Ladies and gentlemen, sure, my client appears to be a callous, privileged, sticky mess of a hippo, but he is also... 
A person of special needs. A man on a journey through life without the aid of fingers or thumbs and therefore incapable of starting a fire. If it pleases your honor, why don't we just ask someone who saw the whole thing happen? <sighs> would, a, would a Mrs. Gigi Quackenbush Lopez Feinerstein David Peck Wong Birdman Mitor? What? Please take the stand. She's wife, I think. What are you doing? If you would, please tell the court what you saw that fateful evening when... Of course. <laughs> Harry Birdman and I recently got back together. We're married, you know. Anyway, I was returning from my lover, I mean Butcher's house, when I saw a small fire on our porch. I saw that hippo just standing there with those matches in his hand. You mean that in conjunction with the Book of Matches found at the scene, this testimony puts Potamus on the scene with intent? Nothing further! Uh, well, uh, I think I get a cross-examination or something. Right? Well, no doubt. You need to hammer down, good buddy. You are in the granny land looking for beaver. Watch for bears. Over. Um, I'll take that as a yes. If it seems that the defendant is holding something back, try pressing. No, that's it? Nothing else? Hmm. I would bet that I could present something that contradicts this statement. Hmm. This matchbook, found at the scene of the crime, uh, my house. Sure, looks like a matchbook to me. Don't you find it strange that my client would put his own name and phone number on the very matches he used to burn my house and leave them there for all to find? Uh, not really. He was probably going to give them to some intern. Nah, I was going to give them to Savannah over at Boobies. Aha! Ixnay on the Atches May. No, I mean I was going to give him to Savannah until I saw Gigi. I gave him to her at the weenie roast at your place, Birdman. She asked for him, and I, being a gentleman, obliged. Plus, it's not like I could ever use him without thumbs and all. So that does place Gigi at the scene of the crime with the Book of Matches. Wait, but why? Bird girl to the rescue! I found a new piece of evidence! <gasps> It's a cigarette lighter with the initials P.P. engraved on the side. I found it at your house, Birdman! Oh, thanks for that evidence. That's great! For the other side... A cigarette lighter with Mr. Potamus's initials on it at the scene of the conflagration... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I believe that this is what we refer to as... A smoking gun. Or some people I know call it a lighter. Hmm. Something here just doesn't make sense. But how do we know that PP stands for Peter Potamus? It could stand for P the Funk Maker. Phil Febbin, or maybe even, uh... Hey, Peanut! What's your last name? Wait just one second. Why would Gigi say she saw Potamus with a book of matches? Would the witness please rephrase her testimony for the court? I can change my testimony. <laughs> I pulled up in front of our place and saw Petey. Whatever. He was lighting a fire by the front door using that lighter. I drove off to get help from my precious husband, Harry. <laughs> yeah, 
Ah, nothing looks out of place here. Mm. Maybe this will be useful later, but not now. Seem right in my head. Stupid head. <laughs> oh, wrong item. <laughs> wrong time. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to present the court. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Oh, where did you drive for help? I drove down the street and dialed 911 on my cell phone. I can't believe I processed incriminating evidence against Birdman's client. Now there's no way Birdman can win this case on his own. He needs me and the Bird team now more than ever. I will make up for this, but how? How? Oh, sorry. I know! 911! That's it! I'll get the recording, we'll find out her story doesn't check, and I will save this case! To the burglar! <laughs> Birdman, I found new evidence which will convict Potamus for good. I mean, Gigi. Thanks, I think. Hey, there's like a duplex on fire. Oh, okay, what is the address? Hmm, I'm not really sure, but it belongs to Birdman. Uh, okay, ma'am. Will that be a Henry or Harvey Birdman? Oh, it's Harry. Oh. Okay, well, according to our directory, there are no Harry Birdmans in the area. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this Gigi? Yeah. Hi, it's me, Scott. Hey, you. How you doing? I didn't know you were working tonight. Yeah, only a few more hours. I'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, you will. I would beg to differ with this statement, but I think it sounds just fine. This evidence says you made the call at 12.30 a.m. That's exactly an hour and a half after you said you saw Potamus setting the fire. Well, here's what happened. I drove to the birdcage to see if you were there. You weren't, but there was this suspicious guy with an eye patch who I flirted with. I mean, watched for like an hour because I thought he had something to do with the fire. He didn't. Then I drove to Peanut's house to see if he was awake. He was. Or at least he was by the time I left. Oh. And that is when I called 911 to report the fire. So you pretty much let my house burn down? All my stuff gone? My Bell Biv Devo collection? My coupons? That thing I sent him? That thing he sent me? Y Wait, what thing? A prenuptial agreement between Harvey and Gigi saying she gets half of any insurance claim. What? Wait! There's the motive! So, seeing as you don't keep track of things I send to you, I brought a copy with me. may have motive and access to the crime scene and a reasonable time frame and opportunity, but I have proven that the fire was started with Potamus's engraved lighter. That lighter is integral to winning this case. So you are telling the court that the owner of the lighter is the arsonist. Isn't that right, Volturo? Have you attempted to use the lighter? <laughs> uh, 
This is nothing more than one of those trick lighters that squirt water. Here, let me show the court. Uh, so, as you can plainly see, that man is on fire. And, uh, therefore, this is not a trick lighter. I'm sure if I handed this lighter to Potamus, there would be no way he could make it work. Harvey, I may not have fingers, but I am able to perform many complicated tasks. Give me that thing. Hey, everyone, look! A sandwich! I got it! I got it! <sighs> While these may appear to be Peter Potamus's initials engraved on the lighter, if you flip it over, tilt it at a 90 degree angle while gleaming it towards the sun and possibly wear an eye patch, the initials clearly read GG. By the great god of horn gods, I declare this case over. <laughs> I can't believe it. We won! See? I told you we could do it. We won! We won! So, who won? Eeny, meeny, miny, birdman. <laughs> well, Potamus, it looks like I'll have to crash at your place for a while. Sure, but you have all that insurance money coming to you. Too bad Gigi gets half. Actually, <laughs> I get all of it. Well, maybe she will get all the insurance. But at least my precious copy of Street Fighter I, I, I was safe here all along in my office. Ha <laughs> 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 oh, Who goes there? Welcome to Seven and Seven After Hours. The building's completely deserted, so if you're here to deliver a package and or rob us, there's no one here to sign for it slash stop you. Have a great night! Morning. What's on the docket for... I love what you've done with the place. Very airy. Uh, wait. Where's my desk? Yeah, I think I'd be more concerned with the stuff that was in the bottom drawer. Do you saw those? You tell me, HB. What might be wrong with this little picture of yours? They're moving me to a new office? I made partner! <laughs> yeah, isn't that great? No. We're going zen. Very minimalist. I like it. Nice. That'll cut down on all that silly we've been robbed fuss. Peanut! We've been robbed! <gasps> you think? Let's not be hasty now. Hey, I'm just happy they didn't get my computer. Or this stack of money. Some of that stuff was irreplaceable! My mask balm was in there? My big box of rubber bands? <laughs> oh, God. Jackie, give me the police department. Jackie? Let me use your computer to email Jackie. It... Hey, why wasn't your computer stolen? Uh, uh blind justice? <laughs> Do we really need to involve the cops in this? Hmm, if not the police, who'd do it? Go ahead. I'll take the case. Ah, uh, yes. 
I found something. What's this look like to you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, were you saying something? It's a greasy bag attached to a child's boxer shorts, and it's under pieces of my intercom, which means... Babe, whoever stole the stuff dropped a boxer slash bag. Babe. Right. Don't be shy. Get up close and do some examining. What are you... I am listening for clues. Watch and learn. This is how a true detective works. Yeah, so what does the bag tell you? It's a paper bag, and it is stuck to these tiny boxers. <laughs> oh, there you have it. There's something familiar about this. Hmm. This grease smells like... Peanut oil. Is that in the bag, too, or just the boxers? Hey, they're not mine. That's not enough wrapping for my package. Package! Special delivery! Take it to the back door! Jackie here, what do you need? Missed it by an inch. Perhaps I should move to another location and look for more...
Jack in here. What do you need? Nope. Nada. Nope. Do anything wrong? Not yet. Harvey, help me out here. Say something. Hold it, officers. I'm a superhero. Kind of. So you're an unlicensed vigilante? Uh, and also a lawyer. You're not helping. Disconnected. You can't arrest him. He's a spy. No, I'm not. I'm not a spy. Yes, you are too a spy. Why are you disagreeing with me? Hey, Harvey, how about keeping that down some before the secret part of Secret Squirrel loses all meaning? Wait, I'm an attorney and he's my client. Yeah, he's my... Wait, what? What are the charges? Robbing your office. Take him away, boys. No, wait. I don't do well in tight spaces with lonely men. Just as I suspected, the coffee cup on Peanut's desk came from Javalux. Also, just as I suspected, this trash coffee cup is disgusting. Ew! Someone's here. Maybe I should talk to them. We've been robbed! You two? No, we, as in the bird team! Oh, yeah, right. Have you found any clues? I have this triple-duper grande coffee cup from Java Lux, which I found on Peanut's desk. Couldn't that just belong to Peanut? Oh, he's an ex-barista. He grinds his own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Coarse grinding! I also found these boxers and this greasy bag trapped under my intercom, which uh, lay plus a set of car keys and this stack of money. Oh, and this. Think it could mean something? Of course. So, for evidence, we've got a greasy bag slash pair of boxers, a coffee cup, a set of keys, a stack of money, and a death ray console that runs on tubes. I'll round out the suspects and see you at the jail. You, the object of my norek. Really don't have time for this now. Hey, love what you've done with the place. Very minimal. Now, if you need furnishings, just let me know. I sell a bunch of stuff online. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Hey, I lost a couple of things recently. Uh, let's see here. One was a calfskin glove. Haven't seen it. Ah, uh, shucks. Oh, and I left my death ray somewhere. It's right there by the window. Lock up when you leave.
Magilla Gorilla? You? We're just questioning him right now. Technically, he's a person of interest. Don't you mean Gorilla of interest? Can you tell us where you were last night around midnight? That's easy. I stopped to get a triple duper grande at the Javalux on my way back to the pet shop. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. Well, I'm a lot of ape. Unfortunately, I spilled most of the coffee on me and got a bad burn. That gorilla got grilled. It's bad enough when he does the puns. Please continue. I stood straight up and the burn set in that way. I couldn't sit down all day. But you're sitting now. I spent the morning putting ice on it until I turned purple. I guess that made me a grape ape. Uh, I think someone else holds the trademark on that. Show him the evidence. That'll break him. Um, what evidence? The evidence that links him conclusively to the crime? The evidence our whole case against him is based on? Secret Squirrel? You? You were there when they arrested me. Just questioning. Oh. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. You stole from me. Stole what? You don't have any evidence to prove that. Secret Squirrel? You? You were there when they arrested me. Just questioning. Oh. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. You stole from me. Stole what? You don't have any evidence to prove that. Nada. Oh. When the police arrested you, this fell out of your trench coat. I didn't mean to. Wait, that's my mask bomb for my dry chap mask eyes. Oh, I, I get chapped eyes from my mask too. I, I guess anybody could have bought that. This is ridiculous. I've been good. I followed every term of my probation since you failed to get me off on those flashing charges. You were caught on tape. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't do it. Just that you failed to defend me. Midnight last night. Do you have an alibi? Sure. I was on a stake out at Javalux. Heard there might be a gorilla that was scalding himself for insurance money. Have any luck? I struck out. Nothing. Silch. Nada. I got too hungry. So just before midnight, I grabbed a bag of nuts and went home. These nuts came in a bag? A bag of nuts isn't a bag of nuts without a bag, Birdman. That links you to the crime scene. How? We found this underneath my intercom, right in front of 7 and 7. That could be anyone's. What about these? Ah, my boxers. We'll see you in court. Agent Triple Zero at your service.
Nikki here. What do you need? Magilla Gorilla? You? We're just questioning him right now. Technically, he's a person of interest. Don't you mean Gorilla of interest? Can you tell us where you were last night around midnight? That's easy. I stopped to get a triple duper grande at the Java Lux on my way back to the pet shop. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. Well, I'm a lot of ape. Unfortunately, I spilled most of the coffee on me and got a bad burn. That gorilla got grilled! It's bad enough when he does the puns. Please continue. I stood straight up, and the burn set in that way. I couldn't sit down all day. But you're sitting now. I spent the morning putting ice on it until I turned purple. I guess that made me a grape ape. Uh, I think someone else holds the trademark on that. Show him the evidence. That'll break him. Um, what evidence? The evidence that links him conclusively to the crime? The evidence our whole case against him is based on? Coffee. Huh? It, it can't be. Maybe, maybe the bad burns put me in a state of confusion. If I were a fish, I'd be guilty. I'll see you in court. Sorry. Mr. Peebles had a bird contest at the store. He said there were no... Purchase necessary. Wait, there's a third suspect, X. Aren't you going to question him? See what he knows? X who? The Eliminator, your arch nemesis, the guy in the magenta hood. Mm, not ringing a bell. You're all right. I'll go right away. I'm right? I'm right! I can't believe you're really gonna march right up to your arch enemy who's only been trying to steal your crest for years just to prove your other client's innocence. On second thought, you're right. It would be dumb to go looking for trouble. I'll, I'll deal with X later. Sigh. The police gave me his home address. You want me to go visit the home of the guy who spends his every waking moment trying to steal my crest? I'd be better off sleeping with the rats. <laughs> 